workers of Unite Here Local 11 at the three Disneyland hotels have been fighting for three and a half years to hold on to their place in, in the middle class by holding on to middle class jobs at Disney. A starting housekeeper at Disney makes as little as $9 an hour. Housekeepers with years of service with Disney make as little as $11 an hour. So you can see with those wages, a $500 a month premium for family health care is impossible. My name, as you said, is Isabel Barrera. I have eight years working in the Disneyland Hotel in the department of La Lavandería. In my department, the company imposed a system to control the production. That system measures the rapidity with which we perform our work. We have very large screens where we teach the percentage of work of each of us. The percentage of 40, 60, 80. Si tenemos que tomar agua o tenemos que ir al baño, el porcentaje cae dramáticamente. Los números que se iluminan son como un látigo electrónico. Mi nombre es María Navarro. Uh, tengo trabajando en la compañía siete años. Uh, seis años trabajé como recamara en el Gran California Hotel. El último año he estado incapacitada porque me lastimé. Todos los meses tengo... Temo que llegue el primero del mes. Porque no tengo para pagar la renta. Hay días que mis hijos me preguntan que sí, que vamos a comer. Y les tengo que decir solamente no tengo dinero. Yo quiero trabajar, pero Disney, Disney no me da trabajo porque tengo, tengo unas limitaciones muy estrictas. Disney solamente me usó y ahora me tiro a la basura. And losing my seniority, and we will. If I lose it, where my seniority is, everybody in all three hotels will lose their seniority. And Disney will be able to schedule us however they want. And with that, I can tell you for me personally, and uh, I will have. To, I'll lose my house. I know it for a fact. Our negotiator asked Disney why the takeaways. Disney's only one answer was it's appropriate. When a corporate giant like Disney made nearly $5 billion in profits last year, says that it cannot or will not pay health insurance for lowest paid employees, housekeepers, dishwashers, and cooks, then it is not just a problem for those employees. It is a crisis for every single one of us. 40% of the people who live in the neighborhoods right around Disney. These are some of the poorest and most densely populated communities in Orange County in the state. 40% don't have any health insurance at all. That's compared to 12% countywide. And so think about what is the impact of taking another few thousand workers and making health insurance unaffordable for them. And I speak on behalf of the American Muslim community. We will be behind you until we succeed because your success is our success. When you see a Disney worker, when you see someone part of this system, ask yourself how they are related to you and how much their plight is connected to your own future. The studies that show all causes of death, the single most important predictor of who will die and who will not die is not whether you have insurance or not. It's not whether you have a particular genetic condition or not. It has to do with how much money you have. How many resources do you have? You are not just fighting for your health benefits, you are fighting for your lives. And we're going to continue fighting them until we win a fair contract for Disney workers. Thank you.